The hemorrhagic fever of the Ebola virus is an extremely contagious illness which can very quickly become lethal for humans. Between 2 and 21 days after having come into contact with the virus, one or several of the following signs of illness might appear. A fever of 38 degrees centigrade or higher, or a hot sensation all over the body, headaches, muscle and joint pains, feeling of fatigue, or a loss of appetite. Then, some days later, the following signs, vomiting, diarrhea, a sore throat, a rash, or unexplained bleeding. A person is only contagious from the moment that they exhibit any of these signs of the disease. The Ebola virus enters the body via the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the genitals, or by a skin wound. At current, there is no known cure for the Ebola virus, but allowing a specialized form of trained workers to take over will greatly increase chances of survival. Once a sick person is cured, and once they're discharged from a care center, they're no longer present as a risk of infecting those around them, except via the sperm for a following three months for men, or by vaginal secretions for a following two weeks for women, which is why the usage of condoms is essential. The virus spreads between people. It is found in bodily fluids such as blood, saliva, urine, breast milk, sperm, sweat, excrement, and vomit, but also on any object that may have come into contact with any of these liquids. In order to prevent the spreading of this virus, avoid direct contact with those around you as best as you can. If one of your friends or family members exhibits any signs of the illness, call the emergency number straight away. Avoid all contact with any of the bodily fluids of the infected individual. While awaiting the arrival of the medical team, choose one person to be in charge of checking on them. The person must wear gloves, limit their contact with the individual, and should be very vigilant to not put their hands in their mouth, nor rub their eyes or nose. Should you come into contact with the bodily fluids of the sick person or their surrounding environment, you should straight away wash your hands with soap and water or with chlorinated solution. Be careful. If the infected person dies, one must definitely not touch or handle the corpse, nor its vicinity as the bodily fluids of the deceased are even more contagious than those of a living person. You should immediately contact a specialized team who will be able to handle the body with dignity and without risk of infection. The Ebola virus can also be spread by wild animals. You should not touch the bodily fluids of these animals, especially if they're found dead. As here, once again, their bodily fluids are even more contagious. You should not eat these animals or any fruits or foods they may have bitten into, as it is possible that the virus may have been left there too. In conclusion, in order to face up to the Ebola virus, follow these methods of prevention and do not hesitate in contacting a medical team in case of doubt.